We lay out the applicable legal standard in our report for this case. The part of the standard we need to focus on right now is the following. For a homicide to be justified, the person who has committed the homicide must have reasonably believed that she or someone else was in imminent danger of being killed or suffering great bodily injury, according to the law, the law that we must apply in this case. Here is what we found to be the most critical evidence. First, the officers encountered a rapidly developing situation in which they were pursuing a suspect, Stefan Clark, who had broken the rear sliding glass door of the neighboring residence and who refused an officer's multiple commands to stop and show his hands. Second, Clark had an object in his hands, which we now know to have been a cell phone. And during the encounter, the officers repeated spontaneous shouts of gun. And third, at the time of the shooting, Mr. Clark had moved from behind the picnic table in the backyard where he was first seen and advanced to a point within 16 feet from the officers. 16 feet. That's about between where I am and those of you in the third row are sitting. But before you get to the camera, set 16 feet. The distance where Mr. Clark was from the officers, having been a further distance away originally, 16 feet when the officers began shooting. And that was established by the STAR video, the video from the uh, sheriff's helicopter, by the uh, body cam footage, and by crime scene measurements. Based on our review of the facts and evidence in relation to the law, I'm here to announce today that our investigation has concluded that no criminal charges against the officers involved in the shooting can be sustained.